Could you use some help with your toe touches? Because if so, in this game film video, we're gonna break down a double toe touch. We're gonna talk about things that the athlete does well, but we're also gonna talk about things that we can improve on, and we're gonna show you exactly what to do to fix yours. Stay tuned. All right, let's watch it a couple of times, and then we'll break it down frame by frame. So right off the bat, we can tell he has a lot of power, but there's definitely some things to clean up on. We'll watch it one more time just so we can take some mental notes. Now, the first thing we see, <clears throat> and we, we slow it down frame by frame, is his chest is down. Now, that's something that we're going to address and focus on heavily with the fixing of his toe touch. We only have one foot in the frame here, but we can see from the other one, the toes are kind of flexed. I'd like to see those toes pointed more, and we're not getting that open hip or that extended hip that most of you guys like to see. When we landed the first one, his feet were apart, which is gonna, again, throw off the second toe touch, but we're gonna show, uh, show him and show you guys how we can clean up both of these toe touches and most importantly, get that chest up to give it a appearance of a higher toe touch. Now, one thing I like to work on is using jumps to improve jumps. This is an example of a really high T jump or tuck jump. Um, I really like this because it helps to teach to keep the torso tall while also getting the hips involved. Once we graduate from the tuck jump, we can get into the diamond jump. Now what this does is this puts our hips into a position that is almost identical to what we would see in a toe touch. Knees are coming up, hips are open, and you can imagine if he were to have his legs straight how high his toe touch would be um, at this point. And so by using the diamond jump, we can teach to keep a tall torso, also keep the hips in a proper position, and get some explosive power through the legs. Now we see here the leg raises. This is a drill that's pretty common when working on toe touches. I'm a huge fan of it because it builds strength and requires you to use strength of the hip muscles, not just pure flexibility. So one thing you'll notice is that he's up against a wall. The reason for that isn't to make it easier. It's actually to put him in a position where his torso is more upright, which is gonna mimic how we want to do our jumps. Now from here, we can also open the legs a little bit wider as we get um, more comfortable with this and as we start to progress it. Um, but don't feel like you're forced to hope, go into a super wide straddle or a middle split um, to get benefit out of this exercise. So for the athlete that we had that sent us the video, the things I'd recommend for him is to continue to work on explosive power. He's got good strength, but we can always get higher. Number two would be to work on keeping that chest and torso upright. Using the tuck jump and the diamond jump can help to start to lay down a foundation for keeping the chest up, keeping the eyes up, and also maintaining some of the good things that he's doing like good arm placement and straight legs. And then from there we can use our, uh, our straddle lifts. Um, sometimes we can do the rainbows with it, but again here, making the modification to put the back flat against the wall and get the butt flat against the wall too. That way we again reinforce that idea of the upright torso. By adding these things in, there's no doubt that this athlete will have a you know, dramatic turnaround to his toe touches. And if you're struggling with some of the same things, hopefully they will help you as well. Hey, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Help to you know, get the YouTube algorithm to, to recognize our page. It really helps us to grow. Also, if you'd like more videos like this, click the link above. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell for notifications. And again, if you haven't liked the video, like the video for us. We'll catch you in the next one.